2045 days sober, June 5th. 2022. Hello guys, welcome to a new video. It has been exactly 2045 days now, more than five years and a half since I made the single most powerful decision that changed my life in so many positive ways, stopping drinking alcohol. In this video, I would like to share with you some thoughts, things I learned, benefits and takeaways from this lifestyle shift after five plus years sober. To start off, this is 100% the best choice I have ever made in my life. I consider the day I got sober the best day of my life. Stopping drinking alcohol set in motion a chain of events that made my life so much more real, rich, and I have zero regrets about having committed to this choice. I have zero doubts that this will be a lifestyle choice that I will carry on doing for the rest of my life, 100%. In my eyes, there have been only positives. I would like to say though that I believe that each and every single one of us is unique and beautiful in our own personal way. And we must all find the best way to deal with things for our own personal and specific reality. I chose to quit alcohol 100% and that was the right choice for me. But for you, it might look different. If you're looking for mental clarity and health, this might be doing what feels best for you, for your life and for reality and goals, which might not be stopping completely, but maybe limiting the consumption or being more mindful of it. Five plus years is a long time. Sometimes when I think about it, I'm truly amazed. I view these years as the best years of my life due to many reasons, but I believe the catalyst of all of them was a decision to eradicate alcohol out of my life. I would like to share some of the biggest positives and things that I've learned about stopping drinking alcohol that I learned in the past few years. These, in my opinion, are very powerful and transformational tools to increase energy, presence, perception of reality and well-being. I really don't know how a lot of people used to hang out with me when I used to drink. I would be so loose and I would screw up all the time. So after I stopped drinking alcohol, that whole aspect of my life went away. I basically stopped screwing up. I stopped screwing up my friends. I stopped screwing up my family. I stopped making promises that I didn't even remember the day after. I stopped breaking these promises, which every little time I used to break a promise, it would just put me in a really bad spot. I would recognize that I was doing something wrong. But every time I would just fall back into drinking and the same vicious cycle would continue again and again and again. I would drink till I blacked out. And then the morning after people would say, oh, you said you were gonna do this. Oh, you said you were gonna do this. And then I would never follow through on that. Stopping drinking stopped me from experiencing these blackouts, which were really traumatic and awful and made me feel really bad. So after I stopped drinking alcohol, I became very intentional with my words and my actions, especially with other people. No more empty promises, no more saying stuff that I then didn't follow through on. I also became more honest. I became more honest with my thoughts and my feelings. They were 100% my own, never influenced by alcohol or by the kind of like relax that alcohol gives you that makes you sometimes forget that maybe you are living in a situation that you don't really like. And stopping drinking alcohol made me realize how many things I didn't like about my life. And the extra energy that I got allowed me to follow through and change these things, take action on them. Stopping drinking alcohol gave me more energy and made me sleep better. I instantly, as soon as I stopped, had more energy to spend on things that mattered to me. This directly goes hand in hand with stopping drinking alcohol gave me more clarity. When I stopped drinking alcohol, I started having a whole new perspective on life, on time and on my activities. How was I really spending my time? When the veil of distraction alcohol brought into my life lifted, I really got super in tune with what really I wanted to do, who I wanted to be and who I wanted to spend my time with, what I wanted from my life. Alcohol, in my experience, distorted reality. Nothing was really real. Reality is when we are fully sober, no alcohol, no stimulants. And realizing what I really wanted to do when I was 100% fully sober transformed everything. I realized I really didn't like hanging out at bars in the evening. I much preferred to wake up early in the morning and smash the day. I realized many of the relationships I had were based around alcohol and they were fundamentally fake, not only on my part, but by those that surrounded me also. Stopping drinking alcohol gave me more drive and determination. I got super clear on how I wanted to spend every single second of my day, but especially with the increased energy I now had, I was able to take action on these desires. And this took me into ultra endurance, minimalism, travel, 
love and reconnecting with my family. Every time I used to drink, I was making a compromise. I was compromising reality for a semi-reality. I was compromising my health for a few laughs. Since I stopped, I had so much drive to identify and follow through on my goals, desires and dreams without making any compromises. Stopping drinking alcohol made me feel healthier. No hangovers anymore, ever. That is just alone a reason to not drink alcohol. My sleep quality improved dramatically ever since I stopped. Alcohol disrupts sleep and dehydrates us, two of the worst things we can do to our body and mind. I wasn't even thinking about this aspect when I stopped. I stopped because I was basically screwing up my life. But these are the collateral positive things that happened I welcomed as gifts from the universe. I slept like a baby, deep, restful, recovery sleep. I started exercising more, eating more healthy, and generally taking care of myself more. Living alcohol-free, in my experience, became easier and easier as time progressed. This is just something that I found after the beginning when there was still some kind of peer pressure. It just became more normal to live without alcohol and realizing that actually life without alcohol was absolutely great. So it just for me became easier as I progressed. Stopping drinking alcohol unlocked my athletic potential. In general, I believe alcohol is the biggest personal potential limiter there is. In my specific case, this came out dramatically in athleticism, sport and endurance. Dropping alcohol freed up so much time in my life and unlocked so much more energy that was not spent late at night out with buddies living in what I now view as fake moments, as in how can any moment be real if alcohol is a part of it. So basically I was investing time and energy in living fake moments. And the opposite of fakeness is the truth. And one of the most effective ways to see what you are truly made of to uncover the truth is A, quitting alcohol and B, endurance sports. With all the time that freed up and with a couple of other life situations that happened, including being diagnosed with fibromyalgia, I took up running and endurance sports like cycling and swimming. I approached this as a total newbie and dedicated myself to it pretty head on. They made me feel great, healthier, and in particular, it gave me a vehicle to work on myself confront my doubts, fears and anxieties. I spent a lot of time alone with an elevated heart rate, thinking and working and thinking again and working even more on myself, realizing where I could improve, what I had been doing wrong and what I could do to propel myself further into the future in a better way. And this was done through endurance training and especially a key part of it was the tool of consistency. I would train basically every day. The consistency needed to do this would have been impossible if alcohol had been a part of the picture. Alcohol is a huge sleep disruptor, especially in the amounts that I consumed it. It dehydrates us and it's basically a poison. I just thought what athlete whose goal is to maximize his personal performance would choose to consume a poison? And that just clicked in my brain. It made me realize that living alcohol free was way better for my goals. Stopping drinking alcohol saved me so much money. This one just goes without saying. I calculated using a lower than realistic weekly expense that in the past five and a half years, I saved more than 3000 euros without drinking alcohol. That is mental. You could make do and live in Asia for a year with that money. Imagine all the experiences you could live fully sober with that money instead of spending it on a liquid substance that makes everything that is mediocre like work, bad relationships look at feel great or shitty jokes sound funny. You could be whizzing around Koh Samui on a scooter seeing amazing waterfalls, beaches, meeting great people with all the money you've saved up. One of the biggest takeaways and things that I've learned in the past five and a half years is that a really important thing in my life is being honest with myself. Being honest where I excel, being honest where I lack, being honest where I'm doing great and being honest where I'm not. And this really was facilitated by quitting alcohol. Alcohol always distracted me from the truth. It took me away from the truth. And being radically honest with oneself is really freeing because each and every time we tell ourselves lies, it separates us a bit from who we truly are. And I believe that being fully ourselves, authentically ourselves, 100% ourselves every day in every moment of life is the single key that we have to experience this life to the maximum amount possible, to the fullest potential. Our life is one, we get one shot at this. And being ourselves is literally our life's purpose. Our life's purpose is to be ourselves fully in every moment of life. Because each and every single one of us is beautiful, unique, and has some personality traits that are really special. And being honest with ourselves, being radically transparent with ourselves, being very much in tune with ourselves, without drugs, 
stimulants and things that take us away from this focus can be a really great feeling. Now I would like to share some reality check downsides. These might not apply to everyone, but they happen in my personal experience. The thing is, looking back on these, what I thought were downsides, I view them now actually as positive things. In the moment, it's oftentimes hard to distinguish if something that is happening that we see as a negative because it is influenced by our emotions in that moment, or in reality, it might be a positive. I lost, I would say, around 98% of my friends. Yes, you heard me right, 98%. What happened was, the more time I spent sober, the less appealing to me it felt to hang out in bars, etc. I started prioritizing my well-being, getting to sleep early, and basically did not want to go out anymore in the evening. So, I gradually, during the course of a year, removed myself by all social situations that involved alcohol. Not because I could not go without drinking, far from it. I could go, no problem, and be funny, entertaining, and so on. Once I worked on my anxieties and accepted them, I didn't need the crutch of alcohol anymore. When I could be myself without the use of alcohol, I didn't need it, so I didn't feel the urge to drink. It just happened that I completely lost interest in these kinds of situations. And this led progressively to losing a bunch of friends, or what I thought were friends. Turns out, the only thing we had in common was alcohol and those types of situations. So, in retrospect, that was a huge blessing. I made a bunch of new friends in areas of life I enjoy, like plant-based eating, sport, biohacking, well-being, health and wellness. A lot of people were very judgmental. They would act weird around me at events, like I couldn't be trusted because I didn't partake in alcohol consumption. Mind you, I was never the person to say, hey, you shouldn't drink, it's bad for you, or be in your face to people about alcohol. To be honest, during the first two years, I was really private about not drinking, and I don't recall sharing much about it with anyone. It would be very much something that only came up if people actually asked me. But yeah, the reaction I got most often from people was a smirk, a condescending look, or oh, this is another pointless phase of his, like I was a loser, or worse, a lunatic for choosing this lifestyle. In all seriousness, not even one person from my close circle ever said anything positive about it. Not kidding, not even one person. Not one, good for you. Not one, stoked, this is working for you, man. Great job, man. But the truth is, I didn't need any of those pats on the back, because I had found sobriety something so powerful and which had such a magnetic pull and positive effect on my life, that my path was easy to follow. It's just a thought that I had in retrospect, how basically unsupportive everyone around me at the time was. And the thing is, that's okay. Everyone is busy leading their own life with their personal struggles, goals, ambitions, and lifestyle choices. Who am I to ask that other people pay attention to my struggles more than theirs? Peer pressure and what is considered normal also might play a part in this. I fundamentally didn't care what other people thought because getting sober was the only thing that mattered to me. Stopping screwing up was the only important thing I had to accomplish. And I could do it alone, no doubt, but having some sort of a community around me would have helped. A big problem though was finding this community, positive role models and people I could talk to ask for advice and guidance. It proved incredibly difficult to find people in physical form in my proximal reality. They basically didn't exist. So what I did was search out for these figures via the internet, via social media, and I found so many. I started listening to the Ritual podcast by chance around one year after getting sober. And there I found inspirational stories from people who were sober and they were killing it at life. Overall doing great things for the planet, and its people. One fun thing I remember is I had to travel to Bali to meet the first person in flesh and blood who listened to the Ritual podcast. <laughs> I found some positive people on social media who were spreading the message of sober living like Durian Ryder, Harley Johnstone, and I found a bunch of new, even closer friends who I could talk to on social media, namely Federico Romanello. Federico is actually the person who planted the seed in my brain way before I stopped drinking, that being sober was not a limitation but a kick-ass thing that could enhance our life. I will very probably make a whole video about the single sentence that he told me that started all these thought processes in my mind around one and a half to two years before I quit drinking. I chose the extreme route of cutting everything out because that's what works for me best. Quitting drinking was the best choice I have ever made in my life. I'm not kidding. This is 100% the truth. I'm saying this, no drugs, no stimulants in my body, completely myself, 100% honest. It's the best choice I ever made in my life. But I'm not saying that is the solution for everyone. For you, this might look different. But if your goal is to live a more connected, healthy and richer life, full with purpose, meaning, connection to yourself, nurturing yourself and loving yourself, even just being mindful of these things and alcohol can go a long way. Instead of blindly accepting what has been ingrained in us since we were young, work to get wasted on the weekend 
and go on holiday three weeks a year. I make this video with a lot of love and compassion for myself, for the choices I made, and with a lot of happiness in my heart actually. Had I not made the choices that I made, had I not drunk alcohol for a lot of years and let it derail my life for a long time, I would not be where I am today, a place of gratitude, love, acceptance and freedom. I look back at myself as a shy kid who chose for many years to shut up his emotions and anxieties with alcohol, like there are so many other people out there, in order to avoid confronting the truth. The truth came out when I stopped, when I started being 100% myself, no drugs, no alcohol needed, and I started loving myself for what I truly am. The day I quit is the day I decided to tune into myself, to take care of myself, to love myself, to accept myself, to nurture myself for what I truly am. If you are watching this video, the message I would like to share is that living alcohol free is not only possible, but can be a really cool and fulfilling lifestyle that can enhance our life and help us to max out our potential, helping ourselves and helping other people. I'm sharing this with no agenda, no pushiness, but just as a beacon of hope for anyone out there who is struggling and showing what is possible by just making a single powerful choice. And remember, if you are unsure about making this choice because of the fear that those around you won't be supportive of your choice, that you will not be understood by your friends, peers, family, and others around you, that they will doubt you, know that you have me. I will be your number one fan, I will be on your team, and I will be rooting for you. When you feel alone, when people around you don't understand what you're doing, when you are misunderstood by everyone around you, I will be on your side. And next to me, there will be a whole army of sober warriors who are crushing it in life, who will be on your side, and who are there for you as role models and positive figures to follow and lean on. Don't be afraid to reach out to them. This can be really life-changing. Cheers guys, I hope you liked the video. I really felt like making it and sharing it with you guys after five and a half years of sobriety. Be sure to subscribe if you liked the video and to follow along in the journey. Have a great day and let's get after it on this new wave, healthy lifestyle choices, sober living. This is stuff that is gonna get bigger and bigger in the future. It's gonna be 100% the future because life is just so much better when we are 100% ourselves, no drugs, no stimulants. We can be honest with our reality and take action upon it, better ourselves and propel ourselves in the future with all the energy we've got. Remember, life only happens now, so let's get after it.